Hey everybody, Kaba Yoon here, and I am going to show you in this lesson how to use uh, some of the Cubase's MIDI modifiers and MIDI inserts to help craft the uh, MIDI note base uh, MIDI note lines um, without writing them out uh, by hand. So uh, the first thing I'm going to show you here is just I've got a basic track open in Cubase. I've got a kick and a bass, and I'm going to be using the Virus TI. Um, for the sound, but this this doesn't really matter. You could use anything here. Um, so the first thing is just going to set up a quick sound so that we have something to trigger. So I've got the initial patch here, and um, if we play a note, it sounds like. Sorry about that. If we play a note, it sounds like this. All right, so that's good, and. <clears throat> But what I'm just going to make it a little bit more crunchy by just putting the sync on here, going FM. So now this one's running through this one, and we put the semitone down a little bit. Uh, so if this octave is down, we've got a pretty nice little sound right there. Uh, nothing else to do for now, um, just to set that up. So here's comes to the meat of this lesson. What we're going to do is we're going to create a small MIDI clip here and we are going to put MIDI notes at every 16th note. So uh, my bass line in this was an F. So we are just gonna choose the pencil tool and uh, we want 16th notes. Sorry about that. So. 16th notes on F. One, two, three, four. All the way through. So, now if I play this, it's going to be pretty boring, but you'll hear what we're talking about. Alright, so I think that's probably maybe one octave too low there. So, let's go ahead and shift this up. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So basically, we just have 16th notes playing every single 16th note, and they are all the same length. So uh, here is where the magic happens. If we go over here in Cubase, we have this thing called MIDI modifiers. So uh, this can be very useful. Uh, first of all, if you have a, a, um, a line here, we can use the transpose to shift it up or down. So that can be useful without having to move all your MIDI notes around if you just want to change the octave. But what we're really going to use here is this little random matrix here. So you have two targets, and you can choose uh, position, pitch, velocity, and length. And this is the one that's really going to help us uh, make our MIDI lines. So if we choose length, now we have a max length and a min length. And these can roughly correspond to, uh, you know, like a, a 16th note or a half a 16th note uh, at certain tempos. But basically what I found is you can just kind of play it by ear. Um, I tend to uh, around 30 seems to be about making it one time longer. So if you want it or half as long, so 60 would be about twice as long. 90 would be one and a half to, or two and a half times long and so on and so forth. But it depends on your tempo, so uh, really you can just play around with it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make the max value, let's make it say 60 for now, and we'll have some shorter notes too. So basically this is saying that uh, some of the notes can be shorter than the 16th note and some can be longer. And we're allowing a little bit more length uh, to be bigger than smaller. So now if I hit play on this, you'll hear what happened. So we get some longer notes there, and if I just make it even longer, you'll hear some extra long notes. So already we're getting a, a MIDI line to come out of this, um, but the next step is really what's going to make this uh, sound very fantastic and be something that you can use over and over again. There's a lot of great things here in this MIDI insert section, but the one that we're going to focus on right now is called density. So basically, the density is at 100%. So what that means is that it will play 100% of these notes. If we then go back to density and we pull it down to, say, 50%, 
Now it's going to only play 50% of these, half of the notes, and it'll randomly select which ones to do. And then our MIDI modifier is going to, for each note triggered, randomly select its length, so somewhere from negative 30 to 120, so a few times larger to uh, about half the size. So now what you'll hear is uh, only half of the notes and a lot nice MIDI line starts to emerge. And even if we put it down even lower, say to 20%, now you really hear a lot of negative space coming out. So that is the gist of it. And remember, in our thing here, we have really nothing going on. It's just, you know, these two oscillators, a little FM, just to give us a little grit. But what you could do then is, you know, to get a little movement on it, just for example here, let's say we put, uh, we've got our high, uh, um, low pass filter here. And we just put this triangle LFO, it's already there. Let's just put some to filter one. So now we're gonna get a little movement. And if we put the density back up, you'll hear a little. And then we play around with these numbers. Very cool, right? And anyway, this is just the beginning. You can have any number of patches. And this is a cool thing, too, because say here, you know, I've got my, um, you know, I've got some presets in here from my stuff. So if I were to just pick one, uh, and play it. So that is, again, all the notes are being selected with this random thing, and you can choose any sound, and it will make a MIDI line for you. And every single time, it will be different because it's always randomly selecting. Now, this is just the beginning of what you can do with these MIDI modifiers. Um, you don't have to do it as 16th notes. You could do them as 8th notes, um, and the same thing would happen. It would randomly select some of them to play, and the note lengths would be randomly selected as well. If we go back in here, there's you also have some other choices. You can do velocity, which will, you know, so now some of these would be a little bit quieter, and some will be randomly selected to be a little bit louder. They also have a pitch control. However, this one um, is, if you do it here, and choose notes, these are gonna be semitones, so this would be 12 semitones up and 12 semitones down. If you do it like this, uh, let me go back to our initial patch, so then what did I do? I had a little bit of FM here, and back down with the LFO going uh, to the filter one. Okay, so now if you hear, we're gonna have random pitch. which, you know, it's not bad. The only thing here is that it's not in a key. It's going to be playing any semitone. So this is where the MIDI inserts can be really useful. There is an option for a MIDI modifier in the MIDI inserts, which you'll see is basically the same. The only difference is this one, if you were to choose the pitch, you can choose a scale. So we could choose Arabian, Dorian, Major, Minor, a whole ton of scales. So let's just pick Arabian. And we're in F, so let's choose F now. So now if I put 12 and 12 semitones, or let's just pick down six, and let's go up for, so you get a little more here. So now, so it's randomly selecting pitches, but it's only choosing notes in the Arabian scale of F. <clears throat> so this can be really useful um, if you want to do some random pitch modulation, but to keep it within a scale. But the main thing I wanted to show you, the focus of this, is how to uh, create random note lengths and using the density control to randomly select a percentage of the notes to play through. And if I just put in the kick and bass here now too, let's see what we got. Alright, so
so you can see that a little uh, I didn't write any note any anything myself but we've got a nice little MIDI line there and as I said this can be reproduced with any synth anything um, and it's just a way to have the computer program help you to make the lines um, so you get a little bit of controlled randomness in there so that is the end of this lesson and uh, check back for another one I'm going to show you the same technique using Ableton live with max for live plugins um, and then also check back we've got a whole bunch of videos I'm gonna go big dig a little deeper into the virus as well as other stuff so stay tuned and thanks for watching thanks everyone